Yo, what is good, you guys? We're here with another video where we try 12 different flavors, 12 of the most popular flavors from Buffalo Wild Wings, and we give it a rating from 1 to 10. Then at the end, we add up the scores to find out what the best wing from Buffalo Wild Wings is, so you guys don't have to. We got Mitchell. Hi. We got uh, Johnny. We got Travis Fukumoto. And we got an amazing lineup. They are all great tasters of wings. I feel like you guys have specialized in this for the last entirety of your life. Agreed. I do like wings. I'm actually really looking forward to this because like the wing stuff, I usually don't try any of the other flavors besides the ones I like. There's a lot of wings that we're gonna get to try. My most shocking wing out here today, orange chicken. They have orange Ooh. chicken here. They also got adobo, which is an Asian that one. Looks interesting. They all sound good. All right, so we're just gonna dive into it. We're gonna start off from the left to right. You already know the vibes. So the first one we're trying is sweet. Sweet barbecue, they got ranch. I was gonna get honey barbecue, but why not just change it up to see how it is. Presentation off the rip looks better than we thought. Mm -hmm. You know what this tastes like? Remember the Lunchable Chicken Nuggets? Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like the Lunchable Chicken Nuggets. I'm messing with this. Yeah, I like it though. You know what I mean? I like this one better than the Wingstop one. Same. I feel like the Wingstop one was a little saucy. Uh, Mitchell, what are you rating that? Let's give that a, let's give that an eight. Off oh, rip. Solid eight? I'm gonna give that a seven. I enjoyed that thoroughly. I'll give it a seven as well. That's pretty good. Travis? I'll give it an eight. That was good. I actually really like that one. Oh wow. Okay, great. Great start. That was pretty good. Buffalo Wild Wings. You guys are taking things to the next level. Thank you to Rhino Shield for sponsoring this video. Rhino Shield, I trust it, you should trust it too. Not a problem, don't worry about it sweetheart. Nothing at all. Rhino Shield is an official premium NBA phone case merch. You guys already know this is the best way to represent your favorite NBA team. All NBA teams are available in a variety of different types of designs including the classic logo, sleek black and white design, as well as the paper tear type of design for each team. Definitely one of my favorite designs is the Lakers one. This is absolutely fire. My other favorite design is definitely the Brooklyn Nets one. They also have this one in the Lakers, but I have the Brooklyn Nets one. The design is so clean, it's so sleek. I'm more of a neutral guy anyway, so you could rock this anywhere. So basically, you could be stylish and protect your phone at the exact same time. And they have collections with many other big names. They also offer hundreds of cool in-house designs and you can even design your own case with your photo name and text or if you prefer to keep it simple they have a ton of sleek classic cases classic black carbon fiber leather and many other cases so you'll definitely find the case that you like rhino shield phone case plus 3d impact screen protector equals the best protection combo you never have to worry about breaking your phone ever again rhino shield ships worldwide and there are free shipping with your qualified order there is lifetime warranty replacement for their cases so that basically means free replacement. Rhino Shield is available for all iPhones and Android flagship devices. So make sure you guys use code Jeffrey in the first week that this video is posted. And you still use code Jeffrey after, but it'll be 10% off. So make sure you guys check out Rhino Shield and check out the link. Shout out to Rhino Shield. The next one we got is called Adobo. This is half of Ooh, Johnny's dish. Half of me. Because Johnny's half Filipino. Adobo, how would you explain this? Go ahead, Mitchell. Uh, I'd explain it. <laughs> <Not> you. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken adobo usually is like got like kind of like a vinegary taste, so it might be a little vinegary, it might be a little a uh, little kick, I guess. Yeah, it smells exactly like chicken, chicken adobo. adobo. Yeah, it does. I've only had it like a couple times in my life. Did you just try it? Good fire. Has a good wing. There's not like savory a savory taste. I mean, it has yeah. like a little bit of ranch dressing flavor. You did it. <laughs> Mitchell's just dipping them. What are you giving that, Mitchell? I'll give it a seven. A seven. I'll give that also a seven. Cause I equally like that as a sweet barbecue. I'll give that a six. I like the other one a little better. I'll, I'll give it a seven. Seven. That was good though. We have wild. It's not even a, a name. It's just hot? it's just hot, right? it's on the hotter side. But it's not like crazy. I didn't get any wings that are like the highest hot. Like They're just like auto mix. See how small spicy this one? You smell a little spicy. Mm, you're like a, a buffalo wing. Oh, maybe that's why it's called wild buffalo wild wings. Mmm. Mm. That's why. They are. But again, not overly saucy. No. Tastes really oh, good too. It has a little. Oh, it has an after thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's really spicy. It's like. Spicy. Ooh, oh, wait. It tastes like a Reaper. Mm hmm. Okay, it's good though, because there's not a lot of flavor. I mean, there's not a lot of sauce, but a lot of flavor. Yeah. To be honest, what are you giving them, Mitchell? You gotta stay in order. I'm gonna go five. Look at that. Too spicy for you. Have I had the same ratings as Mitchell this whole time? No. I'm gonna get that five. Like, I wouldn't eat that. Mm -hmm. 
I might even give that yeah. a four. I like the way it tastes, but I'm gonna give it a four because I wouldn't get it because it's yeah. like very hot. Yeah. Dang it, really? Okay, I'm just giving it an eight. I, I'll give it, I'm giving it an eight. I yeah, do you like it? As much as the barbecue one. Hey, like, that's an enjoyable heat for me. His next one is mango habanero. It's like such a confusing like flavor because like mango mm, tastes good, then habanero it's like no it doesn't. Man, yeah. that's crazy. We went from like here. They're like, like automatically <laughs> like, that's heat. Oh, is habanero really spicy? No, no, the wild one was spicy. Oh yeah, the wild one was really spicy. Like these look like they should be like, mmm, so, so, yeah, so okay. good. Tell me if it's hot, guys. I don't know, my mouth is hot from the last one, I think. We had to get this one again because we got it for Wingstop. This one's oh. the saucier one, which I don't like. I just don't like this flavor. This, mm -hmm. I like this one better than the Wingstop one. Nacho. Yeah, three. The thing is, I can't rate this one worse than the last one. Yeah, actually it's good. Let's do a four. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say four because I mean, it tasted good again, but it's just, oh my, it's not good to me, I'll give it a six. Travis likes it, man. Alright, we're on to the next one. Our tongues are a little bit burning oh, right now. Salt and the V word. Um, Whoa, these last two wings were more spicy than all of the wings I've wings. Yeah, they were bad. Yeah, like salt vinegar chips are the best chip. Salt and vinegar Pringles. They hurt your tongue though after a while. After a while, you yeah. have too much. These are our 10. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Wow, that's good. This is literally like the chip. And that's the good. That is really good. Alright, Mitchell, what are you rating now? I'm giving that a 9. I'm giving that a 10. If you get any wings and you like salt and, you know, get this. Mm. 10 as well. My favorite wing. Who do I get from? Um... You get this from Buffalo? Mm -hmm. No way. I didn't even know they had this with I'll give that a 10 too. Damn, I'm the odd one out here. Yeah, bro. Give me a nine. My bad, boys. All right, next one we got is orange chicken, our native food. Mm. Whoa. Whoa, this is weird to be on a wing. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. This doesn't taste like orange chicken. Yeah. Fully. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a different variant. It tastes like the habanero one without the habanero. Yeah, yeah. That's a great answer. It doesn't right. taste like... It doesn't taste yeah. like Panda Express at all. Like, yeah, it doesn't taste like Panda Express and orange chicken. I don't not like it though. I'll, I'll give that a seven. Make sure if it's not spicy, I'll have to above a five. Honestly. All right, I'm giving that a six. I'm giving that a four because it wasn't hot, but it didn't taste like orange chicken. Yeah. Exactly. I'm gonna go five. It's not bad. It's just they shouldn't label that orange chicken. Yeah. Right? Like it should be like that could be like an Asian, Asian thing. Asian thing. Yeah. 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 They have an Asian thing. Alright, we're halfway there. We got another interesting flavor. We got the Thai curry. Mm. Never had curry on the wing. I don't know how this well actually you have chicken in, in curry. So, you do. so maybe this could like be. Like that one ESPN commercial about Steph Curry. It this looks like it has, uh, what's that spice? Turmeric. Yeah, turmeric. turmeric. Ooh. It smells like, uh, Ooh. <laughs> you ever smelled a ramen packet? Oh my god. Yeah. You ever had a ramen packet? Yeah. Yeah. This is what this is. That, that does smell like That's pretty good. I enjoy this <laughs> thoroughly a lot. Wow. It just tastes like cup of noodles to me. Like when you get a yeah. spoonful of that sauce. Yeah, this is good. What do you think? I like this a lot. Yeah, see, approval from the non Asian in the group. That's good. I expect this to be fire. That must be fire. That's really good. Like, some are really sweet. Right, right. We'll give it an 8.5. Well, let's go 9. A 9. I'm giving that a 10. I'm, I'm, giving that. I'm giving that a 10 too. I'm giving it a 7. <laughs> it just reminded me of a cup of noodles. Alright, next we got Parmesan garlic, as Johnny mm. would say. Parmesan garlic. Well, chicken permission. Permission to be garlic. This one looks delicious. This one, what? Is this wet? Ooh, that one has a little cake to it. Oh, yeah, this does not look like the other one at all. This looks more like just Parmesan ooh. garlic. Ooh, it doesn't smell good. It does not smell good. No, it doesn't. Oh, it smells like a wet dog. Yeah. Kind of good, though. It does taste good. The wing stuff <laughs> one's way better, though. But that smell is horrible. It smells is a huge factor, though. Yeah. That smell through me. Because if that smell like this, and then you start talking to people, you're gonna smell like wet dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the taste was was decent. The smell was horrible. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give that a four. A four. I didn't enjoy that. So a three. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a three too. It's just like the presentation looked weird, the smell was weird, and yeah. the taste did not make up for that. It just it just deserves a low score because garlic permission is so usually it's so good, so yeah, good, it's and so, so very, easy to make. It's a very prominent way. Yeah, I liked it. So. Seven. This is my favorite dance move. The next one we got the Caribbean jerk. Mm. Not the flaws. Yeah. Not seeing the food. Man. Whoa, this one smells crazy. It smells like a Thanksgiving candle or something like that. Wow. I love the descriptions of the smells that we have been given for these. Oh, it does smell like a. Like cinnamon <laughs> A lot of people like Caribbean jerk. Mm hmm. It's good. I like it. I don't have an issue with it. It tastes like a sweet version of the curry one. Yeah, that's I mean, a great description. Yeah. I, get, I get where you're getting the cinnamon. Yeah. That's like tea. Right. Right. It tastes like the holidays. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Like, I realized that I don't like the flavor. Yeah, me either. Reminds me of ham. I'll give it a seven. 
Seven. I'm giving that a four. I give it an eight. Eight? I'm gonna go three. Peace! The hot flavor oh, for the wings. It's, really ah. hot. it's hot, yeah. It looks hot. You can skip. Option to skip. We got three more. Oh, hey man, let me just say it's thank, thank you, Jeff, for, it's red hot. for lunch. Man, okay. Thank you, Jeff, for feeding us. Welcome, you guys. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, you guys thank you, Jeff, for lunch. You know yeah. I just ate you, but thank you for lunch anyways. <laughs> you gotta thank the viewers. Yo. They, uh, they're the ones that really are feeding you guys. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, By viewers. hitting the like button. Then just quit. Thank you, yeah, Michael, like, with the ranch. Thank you, Michael. That one kid, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. You just start naming generic names throughout the video. Thank you, Devin Dot Dot Booker. Oh, he is out there. Yeah, yeah I know he's out there. I see him all the time. All right, we're on hot. Shout out to the guy that has the same last name as Jeff. There's a buoy? He's always in there. Mm -hmm. him. There's a lot of buoys. This wing with the ranch is hot. Thank you. I know Whoa. another buoy. That one, honestly, is like, tastes so good, though. A nine for me. I'm gonna give it a seven. I really like taste, but it's like actually super hot right now. The taste is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The spice is not. Look at the eight. The ranch with the ranch is really good. The last two wings. We're coming to a closing. Oh, I heard this one's Gar good. Spicy garlic. It's not. Uh -huh. It's not crazy spicy. It's doable. Cool. I heard a lot of people say this wing is really good. Spicy garlic. Really That's weird. How is garlic spicy? I don't understand. I was disappointed. All right, I'm about to lower the last one. The last one was spicy. I'm very confused at this wing. It's like garlic. Yeah. It's like it's like someone made garlic wings and then like like oh. And they like dropped it in the hot wings. I actually really like it. What are you giving that, Mitchell? You know what? I give that an eight. I thought I was gonna give it a ten, but now I tried it again. Yeah, honestly, like the second or third bite kind of mm -hmm. took me down. I give it a seven. I gave it a three. Three. Very confused in my mouth. I'm on five. I think I just like it because it's like the most mild hot. Yeah, it's good. The last one, but one of the more popular items on any wing menu in the world. You guessed it. Great job, Daniel, for guessing that one. It is <laughs> lemon pepper. <laughs> Go lemon pep. Ended on a kapow. Yeah, ended on a good kicker. On a Kelly Kapowski. Yeah, they don't feel crazy with the, with the mm -hmm. seasoning. It's good. I, got, I like wings better. Yeah. Because they got a uh, Rick Ross over there taste testing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's a little bland. Yeah. I would rather get a salt and beef. So okay. I'll give it an eight. 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 Um, I give it a seven. Seven. All right, we are gonna tally them up and find out which of the top three wings so you must try all right you guys the results are in in third place we have the amazing two two-way tie be between the flavors johnny what was the score for the third place third place was a score of 30 which is an average of 7.5 and what were the wings sweet barbecue and lemon pepper sweet barbecue and lemon pepper a good wing to go through but we got two better flavors in second place what was the score? We had a score of 36, which is an average of nine. Ooh. Ty Curry. Ty Curry! In first place, the most amazing wing across all four judges' boards, we got the score of... 39, which only wow. missed one point. 9.9 something. All right. But one point is the Salt and V! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out for Buffalo Wild Wings for not sponsoring the video yet. If you guys do, we'll take the video down because all the bad things we said about this. I love you guys. Make sure you guys check out all the boys' channel. Link down in the description down below. Until next time, you guys.